What I really like about Bethel is the community and really how they've embraced us and seeing our kids beginning to connect and dial into the youth group. Bethel's helped our children in so many ways. It's helped us raise our children. It's been probably the single most foundational place for us in our marriage. I don't think I've ever experienced a body like we have here at Bethel. I also really love that there's such a mixture of ages in this church. We've got people that we could be the grandparents, and we've got the parents, and we've got the children. So it makes it like a family, and God has just brought us all together. Also, it's a Bible-believing church, and we know that the Bible's infallible, it's the Word of God. The preaching and the teaching is very rooted in the truth of God's Word, and if you have questions, they're there for you to help you in your daily walk. Just the support and the love and the, just the genuine, the body of Christ, just to feel that, that I'm home. For us, Bethel just feels like home because of the people here. We have an incredible group of people and the way that they love God and love one another is always encouraging to me. And so, I mean, clearly the people of God here are special and a true blessing. It is a church that knows itself and is very comfortable in its church skin. It has existed for over 250 years and over that time it has remained consistent in being a church that uh, loves the Word, uh, loves the Word preached and taught, loves mission, and they want to see people know Jesus. Over the course of our 254 years, we've been a mother of churches. And so we've daughtered eight other area churches over the years. So it's an exciting thing to think about, multiplying new churches that are multiplying new disciples in response to the Great Commission and the commandments of Jesus. The Multiply Generosity Initiative really flows out of not just our mission, but a vision that we have to be a resource church that we would continue to be sacrificial, uh, generous, and intentional about making disciples in a way that reproduces. Our desire really is to be a healthy enough church to be able to send out a group that will plant a church in, in this community or a little beyond and still leave behind a healthy church. And so there are needs that we have here to be able to do that. We're already at a place where we're needing parking, we're needing seating capacity, we're needing some classroom space, we're needing some uh, restrooms and some safety issues addressed as well. So there's a real urgency uh, recognizing that we're limited already, yet we're trying to make some reinvestment as we think long term. It's easy to talk about the need to pay for reinvesting. But this is really way more than fundraising. Uh, we're praying that God really is going to move by His Spirit, and this will be a time of spiritual growth. So Lord, we ask that you would be very near to those. One of the main goals is really helping people understand how generous God has been to us. He has first and foremost given us Christ, and beyond that, He has lavishly poured His love into our lives, into this church, and so we have a lot that we have to offer. So their generosity certainly is well beyond uh, just a uh, financial generosity. It's a gifting generosity. It's a giving of time and resources and energies. To me, a generous life means trusting God to provide you with the things that you need and being willing to obey His call to love others and sacrifice your own resources and time. When I think of generous or being living a generous life, I think of making yourself available and being willing to serve or if you see a need, fill it selflessly. We're here because we want to glorify God and sharing the gospel and being a light to this community is very, very important and Multiply just runs parallel with that and it sinks with that in such a powerful way. Multiply to me means that uh, our church is growing, so we've multiplied in that, and by our church growing, then the next multiplication would be uh, planting a church, and then also as we plant a church, then we're able to support uh, missionaries throughout the world too, so 
we're multiplying the gospel, spreading the gospel, I think, many different ways now. I think multiplied to Bethel means make disciples. So Growth. Uh, growth, but not just numbers are what are important, but making an impact in your community and bringing people to Christ. In order to multiply, we have to trust God. At the same time, trusting God, we have great leadership that has put so much prayer and work into trying to see and understand what God's will is for our growth as we plan to multiply. And of course, ultimately, it will be His plan.